the reasons why many people are not blessed again after being blessed a second time by their destiny helpers is because of the spirit of unappreciation. When somebody blesses your life or when God raises a destiny helper for you, it is just natural for you to show that you appreciate what that person has done for you. Many times a lot of people say, I don't have anything to give because I am poor. Dear, you have something to give. Hello and welcome to this program today. My name is Justina Obasokore and this is your program called Just Keep Holding On. I am your sister from another mother that talks about marriage and family relationship. We aim at, at building a strong and a healthier marriage relationship, saving our marriages and solving our, marriage, our marital problems. And today we are going to, going to be talking about our helper. Many people, like I said in the beginning of the video, have actually succeeded in chasing away their destiny helpers. Now, even our Lord Jesus Christ encouraged us to come back to say thank you when somebody blesses our lives. You know why? Because when you encourage a helper, it makes him or her to keep helping you more. It makes him or her to be more encouraged that what he is doing in your life is actually being appreciated. Let's journey through to the Bible. Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 17 from verse 11. Let's read together King James's version. He says, Now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Then as he entered a certain village, there met him ten men who were lepers, who stood afar off, and they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. Bible makes us to understand that there were 10 lepers who were blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord walked through the city of Samaria and Galilee in the, in the uh, province of Jerusalem. And Bible says that these 10 lepers, when they saw Jesus, they called out for his help. And as it is the nature of our Lord Jesus Christ, he rendered help to them. And when they received their help, Bible says, the Lord ordered them and said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. The priests were the Levites in the temple that made sacrifices. And when he said, Go, show yourself to the priests, and all of them went. Bible says, when they were healed, only one of them came back to say thank you to our Lord Jesus. And then Jesus, who knew the need for appreciation, the need for for things, they need to show that you appreciate what someone has done for you. He asked, let's go for that. He asked and said, and one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned and with a loud voice glorified God, then fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. So Jesus answered and said, Where were there not ten, ten cleansed, but where are the nine? Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? The man that came back to Jesus was a Samaritan. But that man came back to say thank you to our Lord Jesus Christ. And Christ asked, were there not ten healed? Why is it one that is back to say thank you? And what happened? When the one came back and said thank you, what happened? Bible says, and he said to him, and Jesus said to him, because he was at the feet of Jesus to say thank you. And Jesus said to him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. Now, when he was asked by the Pharisees, when the king of, of when the king, no, let's not go to 20. Verse 19 says, And he said to him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. That man came back. He showed appreciation and he received more blessings. His healing was more established. I, I want to tell us today that there is always a new blessing that comes when you say thank you to your destiny helper. There is always a new door that is being opened for you each time you appreciate your last helper. A lot of times people say, I don't have anything to give. 
I am poor. I can't give. Let me just keep receiving. Dear sister, you can give something. Don't always expect to take from people. Also, try to give. Try to encourage your destiny helper. You can encourage your destiny helper spiritually. You can encourage your destiny helper physically by coming around her or around him to do something for him. You can come around to say thank you by, you know, using your hand to say thank you. You can use your hand to do a lot of things for your destiny helper. If you are a dressmaker, you can make a dress for your destiny helper. Just take it to her and say thank you. I appreciate all you're doing for me. If you make hair, you can use your hand. Make the hair of your destiny helper. Tell her thank you, ma. I appreciate all that you do for me. If you are the kind that is always prayerful, make sure that each time you go to your knee to God, that you mention the name of your destiny helper. You can actually appreciate your destiny helpers in many ways. Many ways. A lot of people, when, you, when they call you to say, Mama, please help me, you tell them, come. They will come and go. Come and go. They will not remember to call you back to say, I appreciate. Thank you. It is not as if that thank you is the one that is the is the reward that we receive. No. It is because it also encourages. Everybody wants to be encouraged. Be it whoever that person is. If you encourage your destiny helper, he will do more. I pray that God will help us as we keep journeying through. I may not have mentioned the ways that the Holy Spirit may lead you to encourage your destiny helper. You know to say thank you but i pray that the holy spirit will lead you rightly to say thank you when you receive help from people in jesus name amen amen i will draw the curtain here today and i pray that god will meet you at the point of your need and i pray that if you are still seeking for a helper of destiny may god cause that person to come to you and may God give you the wisdom to sustain them. You can send your destiny helper a text message. You can buy a gift of 5 naira, 5 euro, 20 naira, 20 euro, no matter how little it is, to give to your destiny helper to say thank you. I appreciate. You can actually do a lot of things. God bless you as God richly give you wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. See you the next time in Just Keep Holding On. And I'm your sister from another mother, Justina Obasi Okore. Bye till we meet again.